Okay, hello chat, I'm Nathan. I'm going to be doing Rogue Squadron today. So I'm going to do the 100% uh, any percent, 100% uh, category, sorry. <laughs> so we start a new game. Okay, and I'm going to begin timing here on the R2-D2. One, two, three, go. Okay, we're going to go. So I'll try to do with some explanations while I'm running. I skipped a few probe droids there because the teammates can take them out. Let's go Rogue Squadron. Thank you, Star Falco. I used to play this game so much as a kid. Had a lot of fun speed running it. I feel sorry for those stormtroopers getting uh, torpedoed, but it is a new sort of part of the run that I've been doing. Over here is a little skip, so if we uh, kill the probe droid from this side, we get a spawn manipulation closer to uh, Moss Eisley. Which is a significant time save, and if I can get a first cycle on these tyres, that'll be a really good time. Nope. I think I've only ever gotten that first cycle maybe once or twice, so <laughs> anything under 125 I'm happy with. Okay, 124, not bad. Okay, this next level is a bit of an auto-scroller. Runner's mic is clipping a bit. Okay. Sorry about that. It's a pretty cheap setup, so hopefully it works okay. Um, if, I, if there's any big dramas with the mic, let me know and I'll... I'll swap to a power bank and see if that works better. Okay, so first we're just basically taking out a few enemies before the tires spawn. So that'll clear away for the convoy. You don't have to get this tie over here, but I'm a completionist, so... And there's nothing better to do with our time. Okay, thanks, Mark is fine. Any dramas with the mic or whatever, let me know. So this level is long. It's usually, I consider, a drink break level or a, um, a toilet break level. You've only really got to be in position to, um, to shoot a few TIE Bombers when they spawn. Just reset my uh, missiles there. Okay, so, um, like I said, this level's a bit of an auto-scroller. Um, I 
That being said, if there's any aspiring glitch hunters out there that haven't tried the game, um, one of our uh, one of our glitch hunters in the community a few years ago actually found a 20 second um, time save on this level, and he wasn't recording at the time, and he doesn't remember how he did it. <laughs> so thanks, Shadow Devo. We all trust him because we know he's been around a long time, and we're sure that he wasn't just. Uh, uh, imagining things, but um, yeah, there might be a 20 second skip in this level which would be significant if anyone found it. I haven't found it, um, and I've tried a few different things, but uh, if there are any aspiring glitch hunters, we'd love to have you in the community. Um, so we're just waiting for the ties. Um, you'll notice that I'm shooting some of the buildings, that's just to pad a bit of accuracy. Not really needed on this level, but I've got nothing better to do, so. Like I said, usually I'll have a quick toilet break or a quick drink break. Just shoot at the transports at the end of the traffic jam. That sounds like a great idea. I'll show you a few things in this level while we're going. So you'll notice I, um, I swap camera angles a lot. Um, and that's mainly because the... Uh, there's an auto-aim feature in this game uh, that's different. And you also see the lasers there. The laser spread on the um, X-Wing um, is really wide when I'm in the cockpit view. And then it's more narrow when I'm not in the cockpit view. The X-Wing's annoying because the bloody lasers are on the far ends of the wingtips. Um, it's sometimes really hard to shoot an enemy who's right in front of you, which is why I was torpedoing those poor stormtroopers in Moss Eisley previously. Um, so you'll see a lot of me swapping out different different camera views. That's not to make you guys sick in the chat. That's uh, just to get uh, the the auto aim tracks really bad. Um, so it's useless for when you're shooting shooting targets side on, shooting uh, tires side on, um, but it's really good when you're shooting them from behind or straight in front and then uh, the sort of third person view is better for better for shooting stuff right in front of you um, and different ships have different level of auto aim so it's all a little bit you gotta get used to each individual ship Okay. Search for the Nona. So in this level you'll see what I'm talking about with the auto-aim. It's um, notoriously bad on the A-Wing. And for that I think the A-Wing gets a lot of hate, which is unfortunate, because it's otherwise a pretty good shift. It's got high DPS, very fast, good maneuverability, great for speed running, um, great for individual levels, and I use it on uh, the any vehicle um, route as well, but it can be difficult. <laughs> uh, the bomber, almost forgot the bomber. So just at the start here trying to get up a bit of a kill count. Let's see if I get the good spawn. I did not get the good spawn. That's all right. So in search for the Nona, we we search for the Nona, and the Nona's got three possible spawn locations. Um, back there was one of them. Here's another one, and it looks like it's the last one. The first spawn location that I looked at back there is the quickest. Um, this one should still be fine. Now my shields are a little low, so hopefully it's not going to be a big drama. The A-Wing is a very fragile, very fragile ship. Okay. So first we're going to shoot some ATSTs, ATPTs that come out of this guy. Get in position. And this is where the lack of um, advanced lasers in the 100% playthrough is a bit of a pain at first. Now the shooting the TIE bombers is tricky. 
and the auto aim makes it worse. Missed one already. And the angle on this particular spawn is a bit tricky as well. <laughs> Worst case scenario. Sorry that you had to see that. So that's going to be a huge time loss. Might lose 20 seconds on this level, unfortunately. I think the record's still well within reach, though, because um, I've got a few new, few new tactics coming up later on. But it'll be far from optimized. Okay, so if you shoot, um, if you look at the radar, if you shoot any. Um, basically any blip on the radar that is green, red or blue, um, it'll count towards your accuracy. You can also shoot the ATST legs and a few other things that help you get accuracy. Um, so I'm not just picking on people. Okay, this is a bit of a pain when you're not doing the individual level or, or any vehicle. A-wing not having the homing missiles made the tyres worse, and not having advanced shields also makes it hard. Don't really need to get them, but why not? Should be pretty safe. So 3.29 would have been the ideal time. Um, Okay. This next level is um, interesting. It's one of the levels where there's an old leaderboard um, that we've got records from uh, from people who were playing 20 odd years ago. Um, we've got those times from an archive, uh, but it's no longer no longer active. I don't think many of the players are currently active. Um, but this is one of those levels where the community really struggled with because we've got this old time which was really fast, I think it was like a 520 or something and no one could get even close on the, uh, no one in the new community could get even close so um, there was a lot of a lot of effort from the new community put in to try to find the time skips on here um, and some significant stuff was found so what I just did then, if it works, didn't work so everything's going to go wrong for me on this run. So if you're positioned correctly and if you get lucky, the teammates will shoot that last probe droid, which will let you do a, a uh, spawn manipulation, which is one of the significant time saves. So instead of spawning back here, I would have spawned all the way over here-ish? Anyway, don't worry about those three ties, they're just uh, a waste of time and distraction. The auto aim on the speed is pretty good, so I abuse it a bit more than other runners. Okay, so you got to kill all of those tires that I just killed. Like I said, the three tires over there you can see on my radar um, don't need are not needed for the uh, trigger the cutscene. So the game is largely about triggers. Um, if you 
you kill certain enemies, it'll trigger the next area, it'll trigger the next cutscene, whatever. So, uh, a lot of learning the roots, um, which is pretty easy for this game, is uh, about learning those triggers on, on many of the levels. So there is a spawn manipulation here, which I almost never get. But I'll give it a go. No. So if you kill the tires and get close to that city over there, um, it'll spawn you close to that city over there, which saves another few seconds. But instead I spawned back here. So now the big time save that was the last big one that was found on this level um, was the AT-ATs. Um, so you got to kill the two AT-ATs to spawn the triggers. Um, don't worry about all those guys down there, we'll get them later. Um, and it was found out, I don't know who discovered it, um, but it was found out that if you shoot the AT-ATs in the head, it's a weak spot and you can you can blow them up by shooting them in the head. But again, we don't have advanced lasers, so it's not something we can do in a full game playthrough unless we're doing any vehicle. Um, so I've got to trip it old-fashioned way. I've been crashing on the AT, AT trips recently, so it's good that I didn't embarrass myself there. So I did a bit of work optimizing AT, AT trips uh, just recently in the past few weeks, um, to mainly for the Hoth level, but it works for all of them. Um, basically, you just want to get really tight circles, as tight as possible. There's a few different ways to get those tight circles, and you can look on my uh, guide video that I've got on speedrun.com. Um, but this is the easiest way I find, just go really high in this view. And that's about the fastest you can do it. Now we've got to kill these guys, kill the tires that come. Easter egg there. I don't know if anyone knew you can blow up the heads. If anyone in chat knew that. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the voices are turned off in the run. Um, uh, having the voices turned off uh, skips some. Um, they're not really cutscenes. They're voice cutscenes. So at the end of some levels, someone will come on and you know one of the characters will say whatever they're going to say. Uh, on a few levels, in particular um, Rescue on Kessel, there's time saves where uh, if you just have the voice turned all the way down, um, it doesn't actually uh, do the cutscene, it just skips the cutscene. Uh, we'll talk more about that when we get to Rescue on Kessel as well. So that's all the triggers, now we're just waiting for the shuttle to get to the end. Um, so Dr. Yoshi has the record on this level at 516, and I'm not going to get anywhere near that. Um, usually I'd be aiming for like a, a low 6 minutes, but this is going to be a bad time on this one. <laughs> so I'm just sort of doing a bit of a free fly around now, just wasting time. Oh, that was bad. It's okay. We'll do better later on. Okay, so... Gerard is somewhat of an auto-scroller, but it has some RNG in there as well. Um, the Y-Wings need to shoot some... need to disable some yachts, I should say. Um, so you're really just um, waiting for the 
friendly wire wings to shoot those yachts and you just have to keep them alive which is pretty easy so I'm just getting the kill count up um, so the best possible time that anyone's got in this level is a 349 uh, the Y-Wings will shoot at the yachts and there's a bit of an RNG if they miss or if they hit and if they hit them perfectly you'll get a 349 which is hopefully what we'll get and worst case scenario is something like a 30 seconds um, slower like a 415 or 420 or something like that You don't want to go too far off into the distance because uh, your friendlies will automatically die and you need all six of them to stay alive in this level. Battlefront has a similar thing. Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting that they just when you set the voice to zero it just goes away completely um, and the this uh, I guess it maybe it's the subtitles because the subtitles also don't show when you are uh, when you got the voice turned completely down um, oh that's funny I missed them let's try again shouldn't be distracting myself reading chat Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, so we're pretty safe. So now we'll just kill a few of the ties just to uh, get our kill count up. This level's funny, if you stay low, the uh, the ties just plow themselves into the ground. Um, we got a Lumi skip, we'll be learning more about that soon. So this is the 118th squadron or whatever they are of TIE Interceptors. They're supposed to be the best of the best, but I guess they don't know how to uh, <laughs> how to not crash into the ground every time they fly. It's a good level for just sort of practicing telegraphing shots. This seems slow. What are those Y wings doing? There we go. 404, so 15 seconds time loss there due to RNG. Okay, the Jade Moon is, I think, the first level on the list where I've got the individual record. Um, so my record is, I think, uh, 148 for this level. Um, so you basically just go straight for the bonus. You can leave the convoy, they can take care of themselves. So this route that I'm doing is going to be quite consistent in some ways. If you, if you hit every turret, if you hit every building, if you hit everything you need to, you get exactly the amount of kills that you need for the gold medal. So. Once you learn a route on this level, it seems to be quite consistent, at least for the gold medal runs. One, two, three.
Yeah, please come and join our community speedrun. It's um, there's a lot of good guides on the speedrun.com, and it's a good community in the Discord. Okay, so I find if you stay low here, there's a tie interceptor that crashes into the ground and gives you a bit of a time save. Come on. Oh, weird camera. So it's going to be a bit of me stuffing up here because I'm not used to the non-advanced lasers. Damn it. Oh, that was also a bit slow. It's very unlucky. This third tire usually kills itself, but um, everything's gone wrong on this run. <laughs> Okay, this level, you're going to have to pay attention in chat. This is a bit complicated. This, this is uh, Imperial Construction Yards. We do a lot of wall skips here. So this is one that I found. Crash here. Let's really start. So you gotta follow that line pretty carefully because your teammates, while we're busy on this side of the wall, they're on the other side of the wall taking out radars for us. And if you don't stay really close to those teammates, um, the radars will spot the teammates and you'll fail the mission. There's a second wall clip. This is one of the very rare times where the console is significantly faster than the PC. Um, even the console runners, <laughs> they like to complain that they've got it hard, but in this case the console runners have it easy because the wall clips are easier with low FPS, so the consoles who are running at about 30 FPS um, have significantly easier time with those wall clips than us poor PC runners. But in a lot of other ways, the higher FPS is an advantage on the PC. Okay. So, if this was console, I would be able to pretty easily do another wall clip just in this spot here, but not today. I'll still try for it anyway because crashing their spawns you in an advantageous position as well. I think I've got enough kills but I'm just going to play it safe. Let's do one more. That was good. Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> I missed the bonus. How embarrassing. Okay, you can see how consistent I am now. I've got to do it again. Uh, one of the... Yes, BMAC Attack, you're famous for complaining about <laughs> console runs. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Definitely got it that time.
Great to have you here, Yor. To everyone in chat, um, Yormanganda is uh, the top speedrunner in our community. I think he's still got most of the ILs. And most of the full game records as well, so good to have you here. Massacre some stormtroopers to get the kill count. Hundred percent runs are not evil in this game. They're fun. I, th I find the hundred percent run more fun. This gives you more to do. <laughs> okay. Again, we're just going to play it a bit safe on the ATSD factory. This run, uh, this level has claimed a lot of runs in its time. Oh, I got it that time. Okay. Now the next level is usually the really big run killer. <laughs> Assault on Kyle 2. So there's a Lumi here, which we're going to learn about, which is a very hard trick to do. Okay, here we go. I missed it. Okay. The backup on this level is terrible, so I'm just going to restart and try that again. Okay, this is it. Got it. So if you die um, when you're in the air, when you're flying, um, you will get launched off into the distance. And we call it a Lumi, um, after one of our speedrunners in our community, Lumi, who's a Japanese runner, I think, who um, discovered it. And this is one of the it is one of the tricks where um PC's definitely got an advantage over console because the high FPS seems to help a lot with the Lumi for whatever reason. I'll drop two bonds here to kill some stormtroopers. Because the kill count on this level is quite high. And then we want to try to kill the last building when we're roughly in this position to set ourselves up for the next Lumi. Which is here. That seems good. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it was too far to the right. Oh, everything's going wrong. Oh well. Uh. I gotta go the long way, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Yorgamanda. Um. <laughs> Clean my ass. Ah. I shouldn't admit to it, but I've been practicing those all morning as well. That's okay, we've still got some time saves coming up later, so it's not lost yet.
Okay, hopefully I get my accuracy. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that's right, you Okay, the record for this next level... Oh, uh, the record for that last level I have, by the way, in gold. It's like, uh, I got a 141. <laughs> so you can see I... 40 second time loss is pretty bad there. Okay, so this is rescue on Kessel, um, which is one of the big reasons I play the game without the um, with the voice turned down to zero. Um, there's like a five to ten second um, cutscene at the end, just a talking cutscene, but if you've got the voice turned down to zero it skips it completely. Which is ironic, because then Ashen Maiden, one of our community members, actually found a, a new exploit. Usually you don't kill the train, because Wedge is there, we're trying to save Wedge on this level. Usually you disable the train. But Ashen Maiden figured out that if you've disabled the train and then you kill it after you've disabled it, it counts as a kill, which is good, because getting gold on this level is very tight. You need to kill every single enemy, or every single one of the conventional enemies, and these AT-ATs, ATSTs, they take a long time to kill. So, ironically, by having the voice left on, um, for the individual level at least, um, it's better because you can you can kill some trains which are easier than killing a lot of the AT-80s. So 148, the individual level time on that's like a 120 something or 119 even. Um, but it's way too inconsistent. Okay, you're, I'm gonna try it. I'm going for it. Ah, oh, I missed it. <laughs> So Jormungandr can get a Lumi off there. But it is very difficult. <laughs> so we'll just go the old-fashioned way. So this is a long level that mainly goes off triggers. Gotcha. Um, so the first trigger is to get that. To get the shield generator, the next trigger is these three tires here. I missed. Could have been better, not too bad. And then we just wait for the for the shuttle to finish doing the shuttle rescue thing. And then in the meantime we're gonna get up our kill count. So it's a pretty easy level. There is a 10 second skip at the start there. If you get that Lumi, you can Lumi straight to the uh, to the generator. Oh, it's probably less than a 10 second save in this time in this case because it doesn't spawn you right on top of it. But it's still a pretty good little trick that uh, that I think Yormungandr found. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. And we'll go on to the next location. We we'll get the bonus while we're waiting for the shuttle. Okay, next we're waiting for ATSTs to spawn. Okay, if you kill either of those two ATSTs here, that's the next uh, trigger condition. You can tell the trigger if the, sound, if the voice sound is on because um, 
the the character says, you know, we're uh, we're all clear or whatever they say. Did you find it, Yor, or did someone else? I don't know. <laughs> it's before my time, so I've been running the game for about seven months. Um, I think uh, with the new community, um, probably about two or three years ago, it was um, it was a lot of activity. Go over to the next area. Get ready. Get ready for the tyres. But yeah, like I said, I used to play this game obsessi obsessively as a kid, so... Okay. Now we wait up here, there's some TIE Fighters that are going to spawn. I was a little sloppy, I was a bit far away. One thing as well is if you keep these bunks, um, don't blow up the bunks straight away um, until they spawn you um, the stormtroopers, which really helps with the kill count. Um, so if you let the spawn stormtroopers spawn, the kill count is pretty comfortable on this level. Buick percent, that would be fun. <laughs> I think that it's supposed to be exactly the same as the N1, so I don't see why you couldn't do it, except bad etiquette, I suppose. We're not supposed to cheat in this game. It's technically a cheat. So you can see a little bit sometimes what I do when I um So with the X wing for those who don't know, you close the wings, the S foils, and you go faster. You have them open and you go slower. You can't shoot when the wings are closed. Um but that's not entirely true because reset the bombs here. Um You do get a few shots off when you when you're closing the wings, so you can sneak a few, sneak a little bit of extra time here and there. I actually did it a lot in um, Return on Kessel just now, but can't really see it there. So if I'm shooting and then close the wings, it continues to shoot for a little while, but you still get a speed boost. Okay, so the last trick has been done, we just wait for the shuttle to finish up, we'll just fly around, get some kills for the fun of it. Go shoot some of the tire hangers to get some accuracy. Do you prefer first person to the looking forward angle? Um, I find that the first person is more uh, manoeuvrable, um, or third person or whatever it is. So this view here, in my opinion, is the most manoeuvrable. And from me coming off playing console, going to PC, the console, the stick's more responsive. The turn circles, I swear, they're tighter with console. Um, so that's one of the reasons I like that view. Um, we'll talk more about that later. 
Now, Talleyrand is renowned for the game crashing. And it just crashed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's get it back up. So, Talleyrand will crash your game at the start there, and then also at the end. Um, it's worse if you're spamming um, spamming enter or whatever, um, but I haven't figured out a way to completely negate it happening. Um, let's see if we get lucky this time. Usually doesn't happen twice in a row. That's good. Oh, missed one up the top there. Okay, so Talleran is another renowned run finisher, <laughs> ending people's runs. Um, it's very difficult on the accuracy, and it crashes your game. Oh man. And it's also difficult to get the kill count. Come on. So to pad your accuracy, um, you want to basically be shooting anything that's a, a blue dot on your radar, or even you can shoot the um, uh, the the hammerhead Corvette ship, whatever it's called. But basically, you just want to shoot these platforms a lot to try to pad your accuracy. So this is another individual uh, level that I've got the record on, um, but the lack of advanced lasers does make it a little bit hard in a full game run. So this is one of those levels that had a... Uh, um, the old leaderboards had a great time on this that um, was there for 18 years, I think, um, and I beat that old 18-year re record just recently. Um, uh, mainly by adding a Lumi at the end of the level, which is funny, because B Mac Attack just figured out the same thing um, on his charity run that he did, uh, what, two days ago? So, maybe it was just time for this one to be broken. So usually on a 100% run, if you Lumi here to the end of the level, uh, it's like a 10 second time save, which is the, the new thing that's been found. Okay. So it's going to get a few tie kills. Let's play it a bit safe. You don't have to kill that TIE Interceptor, they will kill themselves. So again, all this stuff gives you accuracy, so just unload on everything that you can. So if you're at a steep enough angle, you just might have heard that that TIE Interceptor just crashed himself. Now this level's renowned for crashing you at the end of the game, the game crashing as well. What I do is I just hold down the fire and it seems to be pretty consistent that it doesn't crash. So there's a little tip for you guys. Okay, uh, Fest is usually an auto-scroller, um, but there's a rare... rarely the... the AT-80 um, that begins near the ATPTs that you're trying to save will actually kill one of them. <laughs> before you've even had a chance to trip it. So this this might be a reset here. It's maybe a 1 in 10 chance, I find. See how he's, he's shooting that last ATP to? If you get unlucky, he'll blow it up. Don't shoot him, shoot me. Okay, so like I said, this is... Um, 
one way to trip these guys is to just do a really tight circle that way. Um, the reason, even though I've got advanced lasers, the reason that we don't shoot them in the head here is their HP is actually higher than it is in in Corellia, so we've still got to trip these guys. So let's see if I can do a little trick here for you guys. So you can actually trip these guys by flying over the top. <laughs> but I didn't get it that time. And the last way that you can trip them as well is by going through the legs. But you've got to stay really close to those back legs, otherwise it will drop the cord. Okay, enough mucking around. Okay. Now we've got to kill some tanks. Let's change my cockpit view quickly. When the game resets, it um, it doesn't save that setting for whatever reason. I'll come back for him. So this is one of those levels that's sort of um, got a reputation, I guess, um, for being really difficult. Uh, but when you, uh, for, for more for casual players, for being really difficult. But when you know the route, it's pretty easy. It's an auto scroller. You can't go any faster than um, uh, than what it takes for the ATPTs to walk to the end. Um, And you got a lot of time at the end. This is another drink break level, so if there's any alcoholics who are looking for a looking for a game to speed run, it's a pretty good one. There's a few a few spots where you can have a toilet break, have a drink break. Okay. Yeah, so someone was asking about the different views before. So the cockpit view is definitely great on a lot of vehicles for the auto aim. Um, the speeder has a pretty good auto aim. I, I don't mind it. Um, I think Yor would usually not do cockpit view because he's so good at the game. <laughs> I tend to just swap between them. If I need to turn quickly, I'll do third person. If I need to have the auto aim, I'll I switch it up a bit. And there's certain vehicles where this sort of top view is really handy as well. Um, I use it for some individual levels, but not so much for the full game run. Um, so now I've killed everything that I need to kill. Um, these guys are just just to get a few uh, extra kill count up, which I don't even need. Just check that we've got three ATPTs still. And let's go kill the tank that's over here that I forgot about. Your, I hope you didn't have your uh, Bluetooth headphone on and everyone could hear you going to the bathroom. That would have been embarrassing. Second person? Yeah, I don't know. What's this? I don't know what I'd call this view. Third person? Second person? And then what do you call this view? Top view? Is this the DAC view? I don't know. <laughs> so... Dr. Yoshi has an insane time on this level. Um, even though it's an auto-scroller, um, there's a bit of RNG and you can get a few split-second difference. So when we're timing on... Um, when we're timing with uh, Cheat Engine, we can get it down to the, you know, 
a hundredths of a second. And Dr. Yoshi's got a 528, um, like, which I didn't get even near, but he's got a 528, zero, uh, 608 or something, which is so much quicker than anything I've ever seen. Okay, Chandrilla. Um, when I was a kid, I always used to think this level was really hard, but um, it's not that hard, and I was wrong. There is a cool skip that you can do on this level, mainly with the V-Wing. We're going to have a crack at looking at it with the X-Wing today, but um, it's only a very small time save with the X-Wing. It's a significant time save with the V-Wing. Um, so that's for like an any vehicle run. Um, not for this category. So you basically just got to keep the bombers off. Um, you don't have to even go out of your way like I'm going, I'm just, I sort of know where they all spawn, but you can just literally stay by the train, shoot the bombers and she'll be right. I love that auto aim. Okay, so you got to time it right, but. Instead of killing the last two TIE Bombers, if you go over here early... Yes, Mon Mothma is from this planet. <laughs> There's a chance you can get the TIE Bombers when they spawn here. Ah, bad luck for me. So on the V-Wing, you can very easily kill those three TIE Bombers. You skip this cutscene, you go straight to the next one. Um, it's a huge time save. Uh, with the X-Wing, uh, you'd be lucky to get one of them. Uh, which is a few seconds save, it's not nothing, but not as significant. a little slow. Clear these guys out, and then we'll go get the bonus. And I've got something new um, for the community in this one as well. I found a, uh, a new little thing that I haven't revealed yet, so stay tuned for that. Okay, just going to crash here because it spawns you back where you need to be pretty quick. Also gives me my missiles back. Okay, so usually these shuttles will go away. Don't really need to worry about the tie interceptors. New strat, yes. So the new strat is if you line yourself up about here, and if you get really lucky, when the TIE Bombers spawn, if your lasers are mid-air, and if they basically spawn in your laser, 
you'll kill one of the bombers, um, which has been tried and it was thought that it couldn't be done, but I've done it and it can be done. <laughs> and so you can see this last one here. If I had have gotten lucky and killed that guy, um, it probably would have been a five second time save. So there's not really any reason not to try it in my opinion. Yeah, you were working on it as well? Yeah. Okay, Solist is usually a hard level. Um, I've got the record for the individual level on this one as well, so let's see how we go. So one of the keys is getting a bit of splash damage on the bombs. And another one of the keys is just trying to stay really high up in the air. Which makes the missiles a little bit um, easier to dodge. Now this is another one of those levels where the PC has a real advantage over console. Um, because the missiles, for whatever reason, are affected by FPS and they are going to hit you more at lower FPS for whatever reason. If there's any uh, developers in the chat, we, uh, we've got some questions for you. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the accuracy requirement on this level is pretty difficult, so I'll sneak in a few extra hits. One, two, three, one, two, three. Thankfully the Y-Wings are pretty beefy, so I don't have to be too precious. One, two, three. It's a 10 second time loss, but it's pretty normal to lose at least one life on Solist. I probably get it 50% of the time. Most runners will kill this um, capacitor on the way through, but I like to kill it last because you get a bit of a favourable spawn closer to the um, whatever you call this thing. <laughs> And it's hard, but not impossible, to get a single cycle here. We'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, that was reasonable. And there's invisible walls on those um, cylinders. Oh, you're kidding me. Accuracy? You're kidding me. That never happens to me. <laughs> what bad luck. <laughs> so I think HOD's safe for today. Uh, the world record is 112 by HOD, so I think that uh, that was the nail in the coffin for this run. I think maybe part of my problem is I'm uh, too used to having the advanced lasers all the time, so then for the 100% where you don't have the advanced lasers for the uh, first half of the run, um, a lot of the turrets are going to take six shots, whereas here I should only be hitting them three times, so maybe that's where... One, two, three. One, two, three. Didn't even get that one. Same place.
Play it a little bit safe and shoot a few Tay Interceptors. I probably have enough kill count. No, oh, thank god. So it is a hard level, it is a run killer. 78%. And this is the other very hard level in the game. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. So I'm going to kill these three to start with. Hopefully they don't fall on that building. So Moff Sudden's Revenge is very difficult. Mainly I find for the uh, friendly saves it's quite difficult on this level. Um, I've lost a few runs here. Yep, and then I'm out of position there a little bit. Shoot me, shoot me! Ah, I thought I had the missile lock on him. It didn't work. Okay, so you got to shoot four roaming tires. So that's one of them. Um, here's another one. And then there's another two that are going to spawn in a different location. I get shot by this guy. Go around this guy. That's okay. So you need to crash in this level anyway to respawn your missiles, uh, your torpedoes for the end boss fight, so it's not the end of the world if you crash before an optimal location. So where's this roaming tire? Should be coming. There you are. Gotcha. Okay, as we're flying back we're gonna keep an eye out for any more tires. There they are. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got enough friendly saves. Oh, I crashed. Doesn't matter. Got him. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> oh well. Ah, oh, the friendly saves. Heartbreaking. Okay, let's try again. So I honestly feel like I did about just as everything I could have done right to get those friendly saves there, but it just it's so difficult in this level. Maybe I'll have to look into a new route for the full game runs. I 
did it again. I'm nervous about friendly saves again. Sorry guys if I've got to reset this again. Don't kill me. Don't do it. Uh, at least I missed the uh, back to container. easier to get the first cycle for Moth when you when you don't crash. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's got to be 55 out of 55. Oh my goodness. Okay, Calamari. So this is the last level of the regular levels. And then there's three bonus levels after this. So Calamari is not that hard, but there is a... This is one of those ones where there's a 18-year-old, um, 20-year-old record that hasn't been beaten. So Sweet Monkey Love, 20-odd uh, years ago, has a 209 in this level. Um, and that's a juicy one and if you're still in chat you should know that I've actually I think I've cracked it and I've gotten a 209 a few times but <laughs> I'm chasing the 208 Yeah, you dog you. I'm not going to try it here because it's a little risky on the uh, buildings and you don't get the friendly saves, but basically this, that roaming tire wherever it is, you can loom me off it. You can loom me off that ro roaming tire and if you crash land past this hill here, It'll reset your missiles and the tires will start spawning at the final area, um, which saves you about five seconds. You see that? So the other thing I learned, those tires there, they will only spawn to, there's ten tires in total, and they'll only spawn to a maximum of five at a time. So you need to, I think, kill four or five of them on your first sweep and then that's about as fast as I can kill these guys. Um, sometimes your friendlies will kill some of them as well. That was pretty good.
226 isn't bad. Uh, one little thing, um, if Fashion Maiden ever watches this, um, I think that with Nintendo, if you restart on the end credits scene, uh, restart the console and you can do a little skip there on, on console. Okay, now the first of the bonus levels. Beggar's Canyon. Now this is another one where I found a little skip recently, so let's see if we can pull it off. I'm usually pretty consistent here, but <laughs> it's been one of those days. So usually if you fly above the canyon, you will um, uh, you'll lose. They will call you a cheater and they'll, they'll end the level for you. But if you fly above the canyon really quickly and go down really quickly like this, you got just enough time to get there. So that saves you a lot of time rather than going all the way around. Okay. Death Star Trench Run. There's one main skip in here that's pretty hard to get, but I'll give it a go. The Han skip. This is quite a difficult level, to, to be honest, for, for such a late level. So the kill requirements is hard, the accuracy is hard. One, two, three. One, two, three. And getting the Han skip is really hard as well. It's hard to stay alive. So you'll see here, I'll shoot, close the S-Files and then try to get another shot in. So shoot, S-Files, shoot. So you can squeeze out seconds when you do that. The quad lasers here can take out um, the turrets in one shot as well, so they're really quick. Whereas at the beginning of the um, run where you don't have the advanced lasers, it needs six shots so the quads won't do it. Okay, likewise with the missiles, the torpedoes, I'll... Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again over here. So I'll torpedo, close the S-Files and then torpedo. So you can squeeze out seconds. Okay, let's try for the hand skip. Let's get a few extra kills in because I was a bit sloppy back there. Okay, so basically if you can loom me off one of these TIE Fighters... Nope, missed it. If you can loom me off one of those TIE Fighters, you'll... Uh, uh, you'll crash past the trigger for the cutscene, and you won't actually trigger the cutscene. Now I do actually need to crash here because... I don't have enough kills. So this is a bit slow, a bit bad. It's annoying that when you want to crash, nothing will kill you. <laughs> Okay, the gold metal pace is pretty tight on this one, so I hope I get it. Good. Okay, last level. Thanks everyone for staying with me. Okay, so Hoth was another one of the 18-year-old records until recently. Ah, I got the crosshair glitch. Thankfully it doesn't matter for this level. <laughs> so if you end a level um, with... If you end a level with... Um, uh, with your missile lock on, um, you'll get the crosshair glitch, where the next level won't have the crosshairs. Um, so that's a bit of a pain, but I should be okay. So this is a bit of a new... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a new skip that I call the teamwork skip. Um, your friendlies will consistently shoot that last ATST, 
which means you can get in position to get into the next area. Um, it is slightly quicker than just killing the probe droids as quickly as you can, but it's much better for the accuracy, so I prefer to do it on the do it on the gold runs. And I just missed that ATST there. Let's blame it on the crosshair glitch. So you got to kill all these guys. You got to get all of the enemies killed for the gold medal. And with that um, teamwork skip, the your teammates will also kill the the second ATST at the back there, which they don't do in any other way. So it's it's pretty good. Um, but the real way that we ended up beating uh, this twenty-year-old level is. Again, I think it was Jormungandr who found a um, a better skip at the start where you um, you get your teammates to kill the last probe droid and then you get into position to kill the um, the last ATST or the ATSTs, which is a super hard skip. <laughs> um, but we managed to get it and that's the new record. We go through the legs here and when you change view you um, miss the cutscene for the ATAT. And that lets you fly over here to get to the new spot a little bit quicker. So that wasn't a bad Hoth. Um, we'll trip the last AT-AT. These AT-ATs also have more health than they do in Corellia, so you can't headshot them quicker to trip them. Okay, that's it. So big thank you to to BMAC. Um, thanks not only for having us on the stream, but also for time, also for um, uh, moderating uh, moderating us on speedrun.com. Um, it is a good community over there. It's a it's a good game. It's a fun old game. Um, it's a lot of the strats are pretty easy to learn as well. There's a lot of good guides and a lot of good resources. So we'd um, encourage any new players uh, to come check it out. It's also um, I think the game's free at the moment on Amazon Prime. Um, so not not an ad for Amazon. <laughs> but if you if you got Amazon Prime and you're thinking of picking up a new game, it might be a good one. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Thank you everyone. GG. Sorry, you had to um, sit through some of those crashes and stuff. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't hoping that'd happen. But anyway, um, uh, if you keep an eye out on speedrun.com, I'll do a few more um, uh, runs for the Rogue Squadron, and we'll try to get that old record off Hod, um, and we'll try to get that uh, calamari record up there sometime as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Yorgmander. Good to see you here. Thank you, Big Mac Attack.